It was a motorcade only a great civil rights leader could get. As the Farmer family arrived, so did his many admirers. Inside Virginia Union's Coburn Chapel, one by one, national and state leaders lined the stage. Once the music simmered in the church, farmers' friends opened their hearts. I've heard it said that when you look at a tombstone, it's not the dates that matter, it's the dash. Well, there's one truth we know today, no engraver on earth will ever begin to capture the dash of James Farmer's life. Farmer was remembered for starting the Freedom Riders. It was this burning bus Farmer and others were on when they were headed to the Deep South to fight segregation. You're talking about an individual who had to spend the better part of his life fighting for things that most people in America take for granted. Even longtime friend Oliver Hill came to pay respects. During his quest to see equality established, many people say Farmer was the first to initiate nonviolence, even before Martin Luther King Jr. In 1942, when James Farmer and others founded court, he honed in on the Gandhian-inspired tactics of nonviolent civil disobedience and direct action techniques. 